to do is now one more look at it here just to make sure we're all on the same page. We get to the line of scrimmage. We get a look at a defensive front. We give the same example, the same formation, the same run, the same blocking scheme to be able to execute. But then what we're able to do is get in that exact same formation, line up in that same exact manner, make everything look exactly the same, and then turn it into a keeper. And there you can see we'll have a down flat, an over route, and obviously we have the ability to run a high corner by number 18. But the run looks the same, but the pass creates an explosive. So in this picture right here, and as you guys are setting your table up, and you guys are looking into what you want to do, try to make your runs and your passes to look the same. There's a great look right here of everybody. No one knows what is this play right here. Is this a wide zone or is this a pass? Well, as we tuck it away, that run turns into a 20-yard completion. And here, going the other direction, but looking exactly the same, that run, once again, turns into a 20-yard completion. And now, aligning in the exact same formation, okay, in the exact same, uh, same deal, same start, same first five steps. Is it a run? Is it a play action pass? Or are we setting up in the pocket to take a shot down the field and make them pay as they're trying to defend the run game or they're trying to defend the play action or keeper game? So as everything looks the same, now we're able to set up maximum protect and take a shot down the field. Take a look at it again. We jumped the ball. We got to the line of scrimmage. Same situation here. Found ourselves doing the exact same thing and giving ourselves a chance to take a shot down the field. But when you look at it from this angle, what's different? It looks the same. It's the same wide zone play.